Today we're going to transfer some Unreal animation to iClone. First thing is you find the animation. I've got this item in consumable animation I like. You add it to your Unreal project. And once you open your project, you go down and find the file you just added, the motion file. And select the animation you want to transfer to iClone. In this case, I'm going to do bandage. This is one that's not available on iClone, so sometimes I like to buy off the Unreal Marketplace and then transfer the animation over. Okay, once you get the animation you want, you export it. Asset action, export. And then you set up it into whatever file you want to. Name it whatever you want to, obviously. I'm going to keep the name convention the same here, bandage one. Save it. Export it. Then we open our iClone and we pull in a character. In this case, I'm going to use good old reliable Kevin. Then we bring in our folder that we just saved. and pull the file over on top of, once we find it here, okay. There it is, bandage, just put it right on top of Kevin, and now you've transferred the animation. Now what you do, you have to select where the animation came from, which is Unreal. Um, I don't like to put it in the perform, so I take that out and I download it. And now we have the basic bandage into iClone. Now the next thing we want to do is save that animation. So we save, put the file wherever we want to put it. In this case, I have a external animation files here, so I'll put it under my injured. Save it. Now we can remove the animation here that we imported. Now that we have it in, saved in iClone, we go over to our content custom and then find the folder that you put the animation in. is bandage and that's how you do it. So we took the animation from Unreal, brought it into iClone and then saved it in iClone. So now you can use that on any of the iClone characters.